In this video, I'm going to be working through a few problems that people have been having with WooZone and with Kingdom version 3. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then please go and check out the tutorial video, which you'll find on my channel. I'll put a card up on the screen now. It shows you how to create your very own Amazon affiliate site using WooZone and the Kingdom theme. But for those of you that do know what I'm talking about and you are having a few problems with your site after following that tutorial, then hopefully this video will fix them for you. So let's take a look. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So the problems that I'm gonna be trying to fix today are the, I'm having a look at my list, I've got them written down, old school. The first one is the page options problem where people couldn't find the option when they're creating their homepage to set a slider and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna be going through that one. The next one is the product descriptions uh, problem where the product descriptions just aren't showing, they've gone missing after you do an import from Amazon. I'm gonna be trying to fix that and get them showing up. Third one is pricing problems. Uh, now this problem has been going on for a little while. I don't think it's actually to do with Kingdom. I think it's more to do with WooZone, but this is where your price on the website doesn't match the price that's actually on Amazon. And the final thing we're gonna be doing today in this video is styling the little WooCommerce, WooZone thing with the flags and the availability. Do you know what I'm talking about? Basically in Kingdom version three, it looks completely different. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can set that back to how it looked back in version two. So let's get on the computer and work through them. Let's go. Okay, so the site I'm gonna be using today to fix these problems is this one here. It's called Cutesy Kitties. It was made by a viewer called Martin, who's kindly let me uh, use his site uh, as an example. Obviously in return, I'm fixing his problems, hopefully. Now these problems that we're gonna be fixing are kind of temporary. I know that a lot of them are hopefully gonna be resolved in the next version of the theme when it comes out. And to fix a few of the problems today, we are gonna to be using a development version of the theme that AA team have kindly let me download. So the first problem um, I want to go through is around the page options. Now, a number of people have said that when they're editing pages in Kingdom version three, uh, they can't see the uh, layout options. Uh, I think it's called the box that allows you to set your sliders and um, enables you to hide the page title if that's what you want to do. So um, this site has actually got it showing. It says uh, layout options and, and it's here. If it's not showing on yours, you wanna come up the top here and just double check um, that under screen options, you've got layout options ticked. Um, it should be called that, although in different versions of um, Kingdom, I think there's a new version coming out very soon and they may have renamed it to something like page slider or something like that. So have a look up here and see if you can see something that looks uh, remotely like it's the layout options and make sure that it's ticked because obviously if you untick that, it disappears. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing and yeah, you can hide your title, which you probably wanna do on the homepage and set your slider like that. And then if we update, so that's saved. Let's uh, just see what's happened there. Hopefully he's got a slider set up. I didn't check that actually. Hmm, maybe not, it's kind of loading. Uh, oh no, there we go. So that's working and obviously the homepage title has been hidden. So hopefully you can find those options. Uh, if you still can't find them, then please do leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll have a look for you on your, your site if need be. Now the next problem I want to go through is around product descriptions. A lot of you have said that your product descriptions aren't showing. So this problem occurs on this site. So we just have a look at this product here, this lovely cat jumper. You can see that the description box is empty. Um, although if you go into edit product, um, the stuff is in there, the description. It has all been imported from Amazon. It's just not appearing on the front of the site. Yep, there it is there you see. And there's some stuff. There. Now, I raised this with AA team and they fixed it on my site. And I'm not 100% sure how they did it. Um, the guy logged in and changed some settings and changed it back and it all started working. They've also installed a slightly more recent version of the theme, which isn't available to download from Invato yet, but I guess it will be very soon. Now, I will put a link to this theme um, in the description of this video and on wpeagle.com so that you can download a copy of this development version of the theme. Uh, and then hopefully, obviously, when the latest version comes out on Invader, you can just update that way. And then I will remove the link because I don't want guys downloading it that haven't paid for it. And by the way, if you haven't paid for Kingdom Theme, you do need a license before you download that, please. So let's install that um, latest version of the theme and just see if that can fix it. So I'm just gonna quickly install that theme updater plugin because I think that's the easiest way to do it. And don't worry, this time we won't be losing settings. That's a reference back to the other video where I did update and it did lose all the settings. And 
it was bad, but hey, never mind. So you want the easy theme update plugin if you're gonna be doing the update this way, which I would recommend, it's the easiest way. <laughs> Just install this. And click activate. Okay, that's all done. Let's go down into appearance and themes. Then add new. And then I'm just gonna find the uh, file from my computer. Obviously you'll download it and have it on your computer somewhere. There it is. That's just gonna upload, take a few seconds. Okay, so that's all done. Let's click activate. Just check the site is all okay, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's all good. So let me just double check that the descriptions haven't automatically been fixed. That'd be nice if they have, but I think we're gonna need to do one more step. So just go and check this cat jumper again. Oh, they're there. Okay, so um, <laughs> didn't need to do anything else. The AA team did actually say that um, if you do update and they're still not there, you need to go into customize and then you need to go into uh, shop and you need to basically set this one to no and then th this one to no. Click save and publish. And then set them back to yes and click save and publish. I, I don't know. So basically, yeah, they're gonna fix it in the next update of the theme. If you can't wait that long, then yeah, use the download link that you'll find in the uh, comments below, or sorry, in the description below and also on wpeagle.com. Okay, so the next problem I want to address is again a quite a common one I think because I've had many people comment about it. And that is regarding the prices. Um so you've got a product like this. It generally happens on variable products, I think, you know, products where you've got options. And what happens is you add the product to your cart and the price that's shown on your website does not match up with the price that you get when you go over to Amazon. And I found this example here on the cat site. So if I select um anti hair ball with chicken mm, tasty and the 55 G the price it's showing on here is 11 pounds 46 and if we add to basket and then head over to Amazon via the checkout so 11 pound 46 remember that over on here they're 14 pounds and four pence so obviously that's not right so what could be going on here? We need to go and check a few settings. If we go back to the cat site and go into the dashboard. First thing you wanna check is your WooZone settings. So if we go into, uh, where are you, WooZone. And then in the Amazon config and the import setup, you wanna check that all these attributes are over on the right, so I'm just gonna click that button there. For your prices set up, you wanna ideally check uh, that it's set to Amazon or other sellers, that way it will get the best prices from everyone. Variations, you wanna set that to yes, all variations. And I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else you need to worry about in there, so click save the settings. That's done. Now we just want to check the sync settings uh, or the synchronization settings for, to use its full name. Because basically WooZone every night goes over to Amazon and uh, synchronizes all the products to make sure that they're all up to date. And if that's not set correctly, then when prices change on Amazon, your site can go out of date. So let's go uh, back into, oh no, down here, synchronization log, which is under WooZone. And then scroll down. And we can see that this site is actually okay. The, the price is set to sync, which is obviously the most important thing. Um, but you can also set to sync these other things. But do bear in mind that if you do tick description, uh, it will overwrite any changes that you've done. So as I recommend in my other videos, if you really wanna take your site to the next level, you should rewrite product descriptions. Uh, and obviously if you're gonna do that, you wanna make sure that that box is unticked. But anyway, okay, so we've changed those other options. That's probably gonna be enough. So if I can find that um, product that we were just testing, 
Let's do a find. I think it was a Dreamies cat treats, wasn't it? Dreamies. Oh, look, there it is. And in here, you can actually force things to sync just by clicking that button. So it was actually, it did sync earlier today. And if you are using multiple, uh, sorry, products with attributes um, like this one is, where it's got uh, you know different sizes and flavors, you want to just make sure that you click on that plus and then whatever the number is to show all of those um, different uh, versions of the product. And you want to click down and sync all of those up. So let's sync that one. I think the one we were using was the uh, was it the anti furball with a chicken that one? But I'm going to sync all of them just to to be sure. Uh, takes a few seconds. Okay, so that should be all uh, correct now. So let's go over and take a look at this product. I think I can just uh, can I click that. I think that's going to take me over to the edit, but that's that's near enough. Yeah, okay, let's click on that and get have a look at the product. So I think it was like fourteen forty or something, was it? I think it was on Amazon. Let's uh, let's see what it is now. So let's see what price is coming up now when we select the old anti hairball and the 55G. Oh yeah, that looks better. It was 14 pounds oh three, was it? <laughs> I can't remember, I think it was. Let's go to Amazon just to double check that matches up. Okay, let's check out. There we go, 14 pounds, three pence, perfect. So let's go back to uh, the cat site one more time. I've got the final product problem that I wanna talk about and that is to do with this Woozoon box. By the way, you'll also notice that this cross sell short code thing is not working. That's a problem that I have raised with AA team and they are working on it. Hopefully it'll be fixed soon. But now what I wanna talk about is this box here. Now in version three, they've changed this. Uh, I don't know if you remember in previous versions. Um, you had this kind of nice box going around it and it said the country name and it said the word available and it just generally looked a bit better. I think this looks kind of a bit sparse, kind of floating in midair. Um, and when you've got more affiliate IDs entered for different countries, you'll have different flags coming up and it will show you the availability of the product across all of the different Amazon sites around the world. So it is a really cool feature, but yeah, I just think it could look better. In fact, it could look like it did before. Uh, now I asked A18 about this and they said they've changed the design on purpose. They actually think this looks better, but. I disagree, so if you disagree as well and you wanna set yours back to kind of how it looked before, I've got a little bit of CSS here which I knocked up earlier and I'll just copy it. Ooh, let me make sure I get all of it. Copy and paste that into this site's custom CSS. I'll put that code um, on the website, wpeagle.com. Just have a look on there for this particular post. I'll post a link directly to the post with this video on, on my site and the code in the description if you're watching this video on YouTube. So let's go down to additional CSS and I'm just gonna paste that in. Save and publish. Close this do breathe thingy, what's it? And if we scroll down, ah, it looks like that now, which I prefer, but it's entirely up to you. So if you wanna do it, you'll find a CSS on wpeagle.com. That's all the problems that I'm gonna be going through today. Um, I'm sure there are a few other things that people have got an issue with. If you have, obviously do leave, let me know in the comments below or send me an email to eagle at wpeagle.com or get in touch via wpeagle.com on the website. I hope you found that video useful. Uh, if you've got any more problems or questions or anything like that, then please leave them in the comment box below. I would just say that I try and get back to you people as quickly as I can, but I'm getting a lot of questions and a lot of comments, so it may take a few days. Don't panic, I will try and get to you. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button below this video, that really helps me out. And do subscribe by clicking on the uh, eagle thing there to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And here is a, a video that's been specially selected by YouTube just for you. Uh, It'll hopefully be one on my channel, but who knows? Anyway, until next time, bye for now.